Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Today we're going to take a look at the person that you are currently separated from. In this reading today we're going to take a look and see how this person is currently feeling towards you and all the situation and we're going to see if a possible reunion or reconciliation is going to take place. Only if you're interested, okay guys? Do keep in mind this is a general reading so the messages may or may not resonate for you. To get a true and accurate read I always suggest and recommend to look at your sun, moon and rising signs. If you are feeling like you are connecting to today's reading or any part of this reading here be sure to show your support Scorpio by liking, sharing and subscribing. I am a small YouTube creator you guys so any support that you offer here on the channel will greatly improve my channel and for anything that you, you can offer here today I am deeply grateful and appreciative of. Okay Scorpio, let's dive on in. Let's take a look and see how this person is currently feeling towards you and or the situation. So Spirit Angels and Guides, what messages do you have for our Scorpios in regards to the person that they're currently separated from? How does this person feel towards Scorpio and the current situation? Spirit Angels and Guides, how does this person currently feel towards Scorpio and the current situation? Okay, first card coming through, Scorpio, is the Three of Wands. How does this person feel towards Scorpio and the current situation? The Emperor, we've got Aries energy here. For some of you, you may be connecting to an Aries. Wow, Two of Wands, look at all this fire, 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 fire. This person with the Emperor may be like a boss or someone in a powerful position. We've got the Page of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. King of Pentacles, yes, yes. This person may be quite a successful person or individual. Success, money, status, job, career is important to this person. They're on a mission. Okay, King of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we have the Hermit card, Virgo Energy. Okay, how are they currently feeling? I do feel like this person is thinking about you with the Page of Swords. Okay, they're wondering what you're up to. They're curious to know what you're up to, Scorpio. I feel like this person may be, you know, kind of just asking some people that you may know, um, you know, what Scorpio up to? Are they single? Uh, do they think about me? Do they ask questions about me? It might not feel like that's what's happening, but I feel that that's what's happening. Okay. This person is hugely attracted to you. I do have to say with the Emperor here, I'm getting strong sexual attraction. This person is sexually attracted to you, Scorpio. They do want to take action towards you. I feel like they want to come towards you. But they're just weighing up the pros and cons of whether or not that's a good idea. Okay. This person is at some kind of a crossroad. Maybe this person is considering travel. Okay, I, I'm getting travel distance. I do feel that this person puts their career or their status uh, above anything else right now. I feel like this person values climbing the career ladder or creating some kind of financial stability for their future. This person may be into real estate with the King of Pentacles. Okay, they may be into real estate, into property, into homes, developing homes, a developer, architecture or something of the like. But yeah, stability, future stability, building financial security for themselves is really important. They're on this mission to become huge, to become successful. And I feel like that's really important to them. With the King of Pentacles and the Emperor, this person may be committed. Okay, they may be committed they may be committed elsewhere. This may be your committed partner. Okay, this may be your committed partner. But the Hermit card tells me here 
that this person feels it's best to maybe separate themselves or to it's best to just be single, be by themselves right now. I'm getting I'm getting strong bachelor or bachelorette vibes coming from this person. It's like the longer they stay single, the longer they become rigid. It's like they get very set in their ways. They prefer at this point to be on their own single. That's what makes them the most happy. That's what makes them the most happiest. Like they're happy just to be footloose and fancy free and come and go as they like and do what they like. They don't want to answer to anyone. The emperor doesn't want to answer to anybody. The emperor makes the decisions. The emperor is the leader. This person doesn't want to feel like they have to answer to anyone's beck and calls. Yeah? This person feels it's best to be single. They are on their are on a solo journey. They are on a solo path, Scorpio. But they are thinking about you. They're in two minds of whether or not to contact you, to message you, to call you. Maybe they're waiting for some kind of a sign from you. Um, but they're open to anything sexual, I feel. I get strong sexual vibes from this person because the Emperor is sitting on the planet of Mars and Mars to me is a very is a very sexual energy. It's very, yeah, it's very sexy. It's very sexual. Um, that's why I say that. And, you know, the King of Pentacles, he's very earthy, very sensual, a very sensual lover, I feel. And, well, with the Hermit card in Virgo and, you know, there's a bit of kink here. I feel like this person likes to spice it up with a little bit of kink. It's like I see Virgo, um, look, it could be a Virgo here, but I see them in a nun suit, like, you know, <laughs> but like <laughs> they have a naughty kinky side, but externally you wouldn't think it, you wouldn't pick it, right? But in the bedroom, they're a freak, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So let's see if a possible reunion or reconciliation will take place here, Scorpio. Spirit, angels and guides, what can you tell us about a possible reconciliation? Oh, sorry, I'm using the wrong card. Sorry, 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 Scorpio. Give me a moment, give me a moment. If this, card, if this reading is resonating for you, please be sure to hit the like button. Let me know. Drop your comments in the comment section below. Don't be shy, Scorpio. We know that you're there. We know that you're watching. Let's take a look and see if a possible reconciliation or reunion is going to take place for those Scorpios out there who want to, who are interested. First card coming through is the judgment, okay? Major decision is being made, okay? This is an important decision. We've got a justice card here. Could be a Libra that you're connecting to. Eight of Wands. Four of Swords. Father of Cups, Eight of Swords. So I do have to say, I feel like this person does care about you with the Father of Cups, okay? But I don't feel like they can offer you what you really need emotionally from this person. I don't feel, they know that you want love. They know that you want stability and a relationship and all those yummy things. You know, the Father of Cups is the, the king of love the king of relationships, they know you want that. But I feel with the four of swords and the eight of swords on either side of the father of cups, they can't give you what you want. Do they think about you? Yeah. Are their hands tied? Yes. They feel like their hands are tied. They can't change your mind. They can't change what it is that you want. So they feel like they're a little bit stuck. They feel like there's only so much room to move in your connection or in your situation. You know, with the judgment call, this person, this is a major decision this person has to make of whether or not they want to reunite with you or not, because they need to know that they can give you what it is that you want. They know with the justice card here that you want marriage or you want commitment. Now, I'm getting 50-50 from this person's energy. For some of you, this person may want to reconciliate this connection. 
okay? But it is a major decision that they're needing to make. When they make that decision, this person is all in. They are just taking their time to really think about whether or not this is what they want. Because with the judgment call, this is going to change their life. And it's going to change their life forever. So for some of you, yes, this person will want to reunite with you. But when they come in, they're coming in for the goods. They're coming in for a solid commitment here. They want to sign on the dotted line. They want to, you know, sign that piece of paper to say, you're the one. You're my wife. You're my husband. Now, for others of you, this person is coming in only for one thing. Okay. Now, with the justice card here, this would tell me that they're only going to come in for one thing if it's good with you, Scorpio. Okay. If it's good for you. If you want a one night stand or if you want a friends with benefits or if you want just a night of fun then they're there they're available they're open okay but anything other than that like father of cups you know love commitment marriage they're not in they're not down for it they're not down for it and they're not saying anything they're not even talking about that because they don't want to give you the wrong impression. But they do care about you and they don't want to hurt your feelings, but they will entertain, okay? They will entertain a sexual union, justice card, if you're open to it. So that's your reading, Scorpio. I do hope that this reading uh, spoke to you today. I do hope you got value out of this. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye for now.